evening and happy Tuesday, everyone. We are exactly two months away from our 60th church anniversary on June 5th. So tonight is dedicated to celebrating 60. Let's get started. having a phenomenal time in celebration all year long. We kicked it off with our New Year's Eve and watch night services in the cathedral for the very first time. Gary Mays and New Era Minister before service, we had DJ Forbidden between services and a balloon drop at midnight. It was awesome. New Year's Revival was such a blessing each Wednesday in the month of January. In February, we had our Winter 2022 Fun Run and Health Fair, where people were able to participate in either a 3K or a 5K walk or run as we explored the Black History Month theme of Black health and wellness. There were sessions on preventing and treating cardiovascular diseases, managing depression and suicide prevention in teens, cancer in young adults, including early detection of colon cancer, and there were screenings for memory impairment and dementia. Between February and March, many of us went to the Ensemble Theater to see the fabulous stage play, The Lawsons, a civil rights love story. It was pretty amazing seeing the lives of people we know and love portrayed on stage. Then we celebrated Charter Sunday and honored the life and legacy of Mrs. Audrey Hoffman Lawson on what would have been her 90th birthday on March 20th. That same day, we had an awesome church picnic filled with food, fun, and fellowship at Tom Bass Park. Later that week on the 26th, the Women's Guild held the annual Audrey H. Lawson Impact Awards Luncheon and Fashion Show at the Hilton Americas downtown. But wait, there's more. Although I haven't mentioned everything that we've done this year, I want to move into some of the things that are still to come. Joining us this evening are the 60th anniversary co-chairs, Deacon and Deaconess Eric and Karen McMillan. They are coming to share some information on what we can expect from the upcoming celebrations for our Diamond Anniversary. Good evening, Deacon and Deaconess McMillan. Thank you so much for joining us on the Avenue. How are you? Good, good, good. thank you. Just happy to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm happy you're here mm -hmm. because we are celebrating 60, which is such a huge thing um, for us right now. What is the significance of celebrating church anniversaries? Why is it so important that we have these celebrations? Basically, anniversaries are just that, they're celebrations. And when it comes to the church, it's always proper, I think, to celebrate because churches tend to not, uh, a lot of churches don't basically survive as long as we have here. Absolutely. And when you reach the 60, 60th milestone of a church, the, uh, the diamond anniversary, that's something to celebrate. And we're happy to do that here at Wheeler. Absolutely. Well, outside of longevity, what are some of the other things that you would say that Wheeler Avenue has to celebrate? Oh, wow, everything. Uh, I mean, dealing with the community for so many years, that was kind of one of the main objects of the church was to make sure that the community and those who are less fortunate than we are were taken care of. And uh, just celebrating the fact that God has been so faithful to this church uh, and that he has always had his hands on us and allowed us to be a beacon light in the community. And that's worth celebrating him for. Yes, I'll never forget one. I think it was a Martin Luther King celebration that we had one Monday, and then we were giving out clothes to people, and one guy told Eric that uh, it's his first time ever having a suit. Wow. And it really brought him to tears, you know, <laughs> just saying that, you know, it's just so much, so many things that we take for granted that you see other people, and it's just like, they're just all excited, so much for you. Yeah, we just take them. So it just kind of brings you back to a proper perspective and to all this we think. Yes. Well, how do you all, how do you two get involved in such a huge assignment with being co-chairs of the 60th anniversary? It's a good question, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like when pastor calls, yeah. you answer. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, he sent us a text one night and Eric was in bed. I just had somebody up and I was like, pastor, <laughs> call. He wants to FaceTime or call us, you know. And so Eric gets up and we're like, Okay, you've been called to the principal's office. You're thinking, okay, what? <laughs> so we were, we 
we were very excited and very thrilled and honored to even be thought yeah. of as yeah. number one. So uh, we started just kind of thinking of some things then, you know, Lord, how will we do this? How will we do that? How will we bring everybody together? And that's what I want to talk about. Um, what has gone into the planning? Like you said, when you got that text message, where where do you go? What is step one? Um, how long ago did you get started? And how did you decide what types of events to have? Yeah, we kind of uh, did some homework and saw what happened previously, mm -hmm. the celebrations, mm -hmm. and just kind of checked it from there and added some things. And we got together a core team of 12. Nice. So we thought that's a significant number in the Bible. So we, uh, we got together a whole team and we just started bouncing things off of each other. And then we had a meeting with um, the pastor and the senior staff and our tri chairs and um, we just kind of talked, talked it through. And some things that we, we were, were exciting to the staff and to Pastor Cosby and um, then we just moved forward with it. Nice. Well, we've had quite a few events already, um, and I've touched on that a little bit earlier, but let's get into the events that we have coming up because I've seen the list. It's exciting. Um, we can start with April and go all the way through June, so please give us as much information as you can about the things that we have coming up. Okay. Uh, April 23rd. Uh, let me start off with the, that Friday before. April the 22nd will be a concert here at the church. Who are these, who are the artists who will be ministering at this concert? Drum rolls. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the... You want me to do it? You know, I want you to go, you go ahead and tell them. Wow. Marvin Sapp. Wow. Yes, indeed. That, that is awesome. That's yes. really exciting. Yeah, I'm really looking exciting. forward to so it. I can't wait. We're gonna have to camp out, I guess, at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we get a good seat, exactly. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, so that's April. Take us through what's... Um, May. 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 Ah. May. You start May. out with uh, Wednesdays in the Word. Wednesdays in the Word. Okay. Yeah. And May. that's special this year, too. Yeah. Yes. We have two, two guest uh, preachers that will be preaching. Every week. Every, Every week. week. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little different. Mm -hmm. And then we have our big gala. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Celebration at the Marriott Marquis mm -hmm. downtown. So we're very excited about that. So when is that and what are the details on the gala? It's May 29th from 6 p.m. to 11. And we're just going to party all <laughs> night long. <laughs> the next day is a holiday for most. Okay. So that's that. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so tickets would go on sale. Well, tickets are, of course, already selling right now. Yeah. And um, so we're having premium tables that we're selling. And our main goal for that is because Pastor Cosby wants everybody that wants to attend to be able to attend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he has tasked us with making a way of selling the tickets for $60, general admission tickets for $60 because it's our 60th anniversary. It is, it so. is. Nice. Yeah. So that's all for May. That's all and for And then May. June, the big month. June is the big June month. June is the big month. <laughs> so like June 3rd. June 3rd, we're going to actually have a CD, um, actually a recording. Mm -hmm. Of our choir? The choir will be doing a recording on June the 3rd. Wow. Yes. And then there's going to be, of course, the actual celebration will be that Sunday. Mm -hmm. And following that Sunday, that Monday, June the 6th, mm -hmm. will be the golf tournament. Wow, and Tuesday we can sleep. And tu yes, Tuesday we can sleep. And you might not see us for a while. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the golf tournament. Um, what are some of the details about the golf tournament? How can people get involved with that, whether it's golfing or volunteering or setting up a table? Right, again, a lot of that information will be on the website, mm -hmm. and there's going to be a volunteer sign up as well. More information about that is forthcoming, but right now everybody's being led to the website. Perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Well, that is the end of June. Have you all, how have you all sought to be intentionally intergenerational throughout this entire process with each event that has been planned? Yeah, that was one of the things that we were tasked with as well, uh, because we are an intergenerational church. And we want to make sure that all the events reflected that. Yeah. So what we did first of all, is that when we got our committee together, we made sure we got individuals that were representative of each one of those uh, groups. Nice. And so with that, we were able to allow us to, it allowed us to actually to 
come up with things or plans that would actually reach out to the young, that would actually reach out to those seniors, and then of course those of us who are right there in the middle. <laughs> so uh, they are involved very much so in, 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 in all the planning as well. Okay, with all of this celebration, have you all enjoyed yourselves during the planning and during all of the previous events that we've had? Absolutely. Of course, there's been some, um, you know, crazy moments, but that's life. Yeah. And, and that, that's what happens. So, <laughs> you know it's going to be good when you plan for um, a thousand people without a picnic and you get like 1,600 that register. Wow. So it's like, wow. This is really going to be a celebration. We're going to have a great time. We so are. So we're extremely, extremely um, excited. So which event have you enjoyed the most? And which event are you looking forward to most? I've enjoyed the picnic. The picnic was great. <laughs> we had a ball. I mean, it was everybody came out, enjoyed themselves. Uh, that was just, I mean, just the weather was beautiful. It and was. so uh, I really, really enjoyed the picnic. Just to see everybody just to come together and just have a good time. Yeah. It, it, was, it, was, it was actually, it was great. And uh, I guess I'm looking forward to the to gala, mm -hmm. you know? The party. Uh, the party, yeah, yeah, the party. I think the whole uh, 60th anniversary is kind of like a party theme. Yes. You mm -hmm. know, and so that's kind of what my mindset is, just kind of like party and have a good time, yeah. you know. Absolutely. Have a great good time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what events are you looking forward to most? Um, like I, I think the gala. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the gala. Well, I'm looking forward to it. So forward we can all dress too. up. And, yes. You know, we have a fun time and we're going to have lots of entertainment. And uh, I just can't wait. Yeah. I just, they're also going to reserve a block of rooms for us. So if anybody that wants to stay over for the night, we have an opportunity to do so at a reduced rate. Keep the party going. So keep the party going. <laughs> Monday morning, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you both so much. I'm looking forward to continuing to celebrate with you two and everybody here at Wheeler Avenue. Thank you for all of the work that you and your team have put in to make this such a great, such a great exciting time for everybody here in the life if in, at Wheeler Avenue. So thank you again thank for coming you. on the Avenue and for doing all of the great work that you've done. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much for having us. I am so excited for all of the great things happening on the Avenue. Don't miss out on all of the exciting things that have been planned for us during this time of celebration. Thank you for watching this evening. Join us next week for an outer space adventure. See you Tuesday on the Avenue.